Hello. Welcome back to another Young in the Home here at Young in the Parks, and we have another Universal Yums box. This Yay. month is for the Philippines. Did you guess it from our last video? We didn't. We didn't. <laughs> We cheated. That, we looked it up. Well, we didn't <laughs> cheat. They shared it on their Instagram they page. Did, yeah. And we decided we were going to do another box since we couldn't guess what it was. So we're like, yeah, it'll be a mystery. So, yeah, I'm really excited. So if you didn't watch our last video where we reviewed our first Universal Yums box, we did um, snacks from Scandinavia. Um, Universal Yums is a monthly based subscription box. Um, it includes snacks from different countries like chips and candy and cookies and they always include like a map and uh, as well as like a little booklet telling you about each snack what region it comes from why it's popular there there's also i think some like trivia questions well, and um yeah so we will jump right into the philippines so the first item that we'll be eating is going to be the fudgy bar macapuno which is macapuno cake with cream filling so let's hmm. read a little bit about that snack interesting if you open up the average coconut, what do you see? Good question. We didn't know the answer either until we did some research. But now we know that when you open up the average coconut, you'll see a layer of white meat and some coconut water. Do people not know that? Do people not know what's inside of a coconut? <laughs> okay. However, this cake does not have any of the average coconut in it. It's made with a macapuno coconut, and when you open a macapuno, it's filled with a soft, jelly-like flesh. At first, freaked out locals discarded the macapunos, but later discovered their extraordinary sweetness. Today, they're a coveted delicacy. Yes, this cake is made with something truly special. Or mutant. It depends on how you look at it. Nice. I've not heard of a macapuno co coconut. So, I guess you would have to open that up to see what's inside of that. But yeah. Interesting. So it's a like green cake with cream filling, which is interesting. But it's called fudgy bar, so I don't really know what that open. means. Do you want me to open it? No, I got it. Oh yeah, look at that. That is a very bright green color. Ooh, that smells really good. Oh wow. Oh, that smells It smells great. like sweet, but like freshly baked. Yeah. And I don't really get a lot of coconut, but I know it's just in the cream like filling, so that makes sense. So it's got like a kind of like a wrapper around it, like a cupcake wrapper. So I'm just gonna peel that away. I'm gonna break it in half. All right, let's try out some of the macapuno. Very sweet, very coconutty. There's no cream filling. Yeah, there's no cream. There's supposed they to be. It? But there's not. The open is. Yeah, I don't. I don't have any. Where's the cream filling? None. It doesn't even overly taste like coconut. You would taste it a little bit. Yeah, it tastes. It, it. kind of tastes like a Hostess, like snack cake. Nothing extraordinary to me, sorry. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, oh well. It just didn't have any, like, a lot of flavor. Yeah. It just kind of tasted like sugar. That's fair. Which is the point, but so. Yeah, I guess I point. All right. You don't mind. All right. Next up, we have Boy Bawang Cornic Adobo Flavor. Ooh. Which is basically, what I understand is corn nuts with adobo seasoning. So I've never had a corn nut before. Well, do you like having tea? I've never eaten a corn nut because my dad cracked a molar on a corn nut. I'm pretty sure my mom did too. When they lived in Las Vegas many years ago yeah. before I was born. Like super crunchy. Yeah. So let's learn about these adobo flavors. Tell us about because I have no idea what adobo flavor is. Well, it's like, well, let's find out. Let's find out. It's time to dig right into the heart of Filipino culture which means it's time to dig into this adobo cornic snack. Now you're probably wondering, what the heck is an adobo cornic snack? Number one, adobo is a style of cooking in which meat is marinated in vinegary, soy saucy, and garlicky goodness. It's considered by many to be the Philippines' unofficial national dish. 
one of the few foods that all the country's diverse islands can agree on. Number two, when it comes to the uber popular Filipino snack, Cornic reigns supreme. These crispy corn kernels are soaked in water, dried, and deep fried into a popable local, local sensation. Number three, Boy Baeng is the Philippines' most popular snack brand. Think Lay's. What more can we say? Time to dig in. After all, the best way to appreciate Filipino culture is to taste it. I've had like adobo dishes before, but I guess I, did, I was confused. I thought it was like the blend of seasoning that they use and it's not like the style of cooking. So that's kind of interesting. Everything was very hard to open already. Yeah, it said tear here, but that was a Herculean feat. What are you smelling? That smells weird. It's like garlic and vinegar. I, it smells like vinegar. Yeah. Oh wow, they're pretty big. They're huge, oh my goodness. Oh wow. They're not as crunchy as I thought they would be. Yeah. Like they're not, they're still really crunchy, but they're like airy in there. Mm -hmm. They kind of taste like, Bad. and the adobo seasoning is good on it. It's not as garlicky as I would like it. It's like a little more vinegary. Yeah, slightly. But not they're pretty though. good. They're a lot better than I thought they were gonna be. I thought they were gonna be like really hard. Yeah, me too. But they're like, um, like hard on the outside. All right. Maybe these aren't like true corn nuts then. Or maybe I'm just like misremembering them being like that hard and like crunchy. They corn snacks. Mm. So maybe that's why. They're not a corn nut, it's a corn snack. Yeah, a little different. They're good though. Yeah, tasty. Good. I also like the fighting garlic. It's pretty cool. All right. Up next is the Lips Color Burst Mango, uh, which is mango heart candy. It says, in 1995, the Guinness Book of World Records officially declared the Philippines special mangoes, carabaos, carabaos, something like that, as the sweetest in the world. You're probably like, what? How could they know they're the sweetest? To that we say, pop this Philippine mango candy in your mouth and try to tell us that they're wrong. Do it for science. These little descriptions are so cheeky. Hold on. I wonder what makes them color bursts. I think they change colors? No, no, they're just like really bright. Oh, oh wow. wow. Oh, that's really pretty. See that? It's like iridescent. I don't know, like over my face. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Yeah, iridescent. It's really pretty. It's like a butterscotch candy that yeah. you would find in like your grandma's purse. Like loose, all like this. Mmm, that's good. It's very mangoey, very sugary, like super, super sweet. They weren't lying about that. Mmm. But it really tastes like mango. Mm-hmm. They weren't lying about that. I'm not usually a fan of hard candy, but it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. It is a little on the sweeter side, but it does actually very taste sweet. like like the fruit mango. Like it doesn't really taste like overly fake. Yeah, it doesn't taste artificial. Mm -hmm. Even though there are no, there's no actual mango in it. That makes sense. Yeah, go for that. Up next, we have a section entitled Spanish Philippine Fusions. Uh, and it starts with the Goldilocks Pinapig Pulveron Toasted uh -huh. Rice Shortbread. A little shortbread cookie. After three centuries of Spanish colonization, Spaniards and Filipinos have a lot in common. For example, they both love to eat dust. What? Dust? So it says, no, not the kind on the floor. We're talking about polvoron, a Spanish shortbread named after the word for dust, polvo, due to its extreme crumbliness. Wow. The variety in your box is sprinkled with pinapig, a Philippine specialty made from... I keep throwing the snacks, sorry. Green rice has been pounded flat and toasted for added crunch. Get excited, it's dust. That's a really good selling point, universally yeah, owned, so I love that. It smells good. It smells dusty. Dusty. All right, we're just gonna go for it. It looks like, it looks like it's gonna be dry, but we'll go for it. Well, it's shortbread. 
Mm. This immediately turns into wet concrete in your mouth. Wow. But it's really good. That is wet dust. <laughs> I knew you were gonna like it because Joe really likes shortbread. I have a lot of good shortbread. This it's is good. like. It's pure sugar though. Yeah. But yeah, immediately in like wet concrete. It's really good though. It has like a little bit of sugar on the outside. Yeah. Really, really soft, but like super crumbly. Crumbly. It's that. It's that good kind of shortbread that sticks to your, the roof of your mouth mm -hmm. as you eat it. Do you know it's like really, really buttery mm -hmm. and just delicious? That's really, yeah. really, really good. All right. A plus on that one. We like dust. I got a napkin. What's up next, Kelly? Farmer John barbecue sausage. He's really excited that he remembered them this time. I did. It Meanwhile, I have to say it like seven times. To the bib. There you go. Classy. Love it. All right. Farmer John barbecue sausage. Spicy barbecue sausage potato chips. This is, I know this is only our second box. But this is also the second time that we've gotten potato chips that are like American. Yeah. <laughs> or like American yeah. flavor, which is really funny. From the sweets onto the meats. <laughs> That's really what it says. <laughs> it's really funny. Who writes these? Uh, they deserve no. a raise. That's something. There's one indisputable link between the meats of Spain and the Philippines. Or should we say one indisputable sausage link? Please tell. <laughs> The Spanish brought over manganzilla, a barbecued pork sausage made from soy sauce, brown sugar, garlic, spices, and black pepper. Filipinos adjusted the ratio of the ingredients to their liking, creating over 15 distinct varieties across the country's diverse islands, 16 if you count these chips, packed with slightly spicy, extra sweet manganzilla, Lon 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 manganzilla? Lon Long Longaniza. Longaniza. So I don't think that's right, but that flavor. Put the thing down, flip it in reverse. Yeah, it's right. You're flipping it behind you again. <laughs> Alright. Let's try some tater chips. Hammer games. Barbecue. Turtle chips. I just want to say a favor. Yeah, pull it. <clears throat> Why are all these so hard to open? Every single one. Yep. Holy. I'm scared they're gonna like explode. No. Oh my gosh. All right, just open it. Maybe you're supposed to do it this way. Yeah. All right, I got it. Why, well, thank you. Pretty standard like ruffles type of chip. Ugh. Oh, I don't like that smell. No. I'm going to take a little bite. I'm not big into like chips that are supposed to taste like something. Yeah. In terms of like, oh, like um, like chicken and waffles or like taco chip. Like yeah. they just, it's something about it that like immediately kind of makes me not like gag, but just it just gets to me. So I'm probably going to take a little bite of this. It tastes exactly like yeah. it smells, which is unfortunate. It tastes like meat, but like, not good. Oh. All right, let's quickly move on to another one because yucky. And let's go to Choco Mucho Cookies and Cream. Chocolate cookie bar with caramel, crisp rice, and white chocolate. First off, the Philippines world famous Chocolate Hills. What? I'm gonna go Apple there. Hills. On the island of Buol, Bu Buol? Right? I don't know. A bull. Yeah. Okay. 1,776 symmetrical grassy hills extend as far as you can see. A breathtaking sight? Definitely. A cure for cocoa cravings? Not so much. The misleading name comes from the hill's brown hue in the dry season. Yeah, confusing. But not every chocolate name in the Philippines is that way. Chocolate cookie, chocolate rice cereal, and white chocolate caramel coating earns this yum a very accurate name. 
Choco Mucho. Choco Mucho. Mm -hmm. We also found it interesting that this chocolate bar is certified halal. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna open the whole thing. See, yeah, I can open this one. Fine. That looks pretty good. I like that. I feel like this will be your jam because it's cookies, cookies and cream. Cookies it kind of looks like, ooh, it's weird in the middle. That's interesting. It's like. It's got a feeling. You could kind of yeah, see it on the packaging. Yeah, it's got like, yeah. Right. Okay. Give it a shot. Not very creamy. It's not the sweetest, it's not the creamiest. Yeah, it's also not the sweetest, which is in Shang for a chocolate bar. But I also kind of appreciate that. Because I feel like in the US, we're used to like, you get a chocolate bar and it's so sweet. Sugar like, overload. Like, time to quote the Great British Bake Off. <laughs> Cloyingly sweet. Who says that? Is it cloying? Never heard that before. Yeah. Like Paul Hollywood says oh. cloying. What does that mean? Like over? Like so sweet, it, it like hurts your mouth. Wow. Like it's so, it's too sweet, it's cloying. All right. Yeah, it's not bad. It's just it's got like the almost like a brownie in the middle of it, and then like that. caramel around that. We can't really taste the caramel, and then the crispy chocolate like rice puffs, and then white chocolate. Next up is the one that I think I'm most excited about, which is the Cupcake Cocoa Oob. Oob Cupcake with Coconut Flakes. Is it Oob or Oob? Oh, Ube. it's Oob. 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 Whoops. Looking at the how to pronounce on YouTube, I might play it. What? There's a there's like a fake one. Mm -hmm. You remember that way back? Oh yeah. Uh, like they pronounce mm -hmm. words just so not right. Yes, yeah, and the, they're super yes. silly. Sign a kind of doty chody. It is ube. Ube. So next, let's visit mountainous. Good lord, everything. I can't pronounce anything. Guayo. Guayo City. Perched 5,000 feet above sea level, the Philippine summer capital boasts a cool climate perfect for beating the heat. But that's not the only reason folks flock here there in summer. It's also because of Baguio's sweet purple yam called ube is in season. Everywhere you look, locals are licking purple ube ice cream, spreading purple ube jams, or savoring sweet purple cupcakes like this yum. So, ready to ring in summer 2020? What summer 2020? <laughs> Uh, you can't really see it, and I don't think I'd be able to get it on the camera. It's like sparkly But the on top, top is sparkly. I think mean, it's just sugar. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just sugar. Oh, I can't do a very good job. There's no white flakes in there either! <sighs> the packaging lied. What the heck? It smells like cupcake. It kind of smells like um, exactly like the other one, though. Very dry. Yeah. It just tastes like the other one too. Oh, I taste coconut in this one. I taste more coconut in this one than the other one. To me, this tastes identical. But the other one was better because it was more moist. This one's really dry. This one's very, very dry. Mm -hmm. All right, well that was kind of a bummer. Yeah, that wasn't my favorite. Next, we have another hard candy. So just like that mango one, this one is strawberry. The 26,292 tons of strawberries produced in La Trinidad, the Philippines strawberry hub, go on to do extraordinary things. Sometimes they're fermented into the region's renowned strawberry and wine. Other times, specifically in 2004, they're made into the world's largest strawberry shortcake, weighing over 20,000 pounds. That's crazy. That's huge. And sometimes they're infused into mouth-watering hard candies and shipped all around the world for all of us to try. Way cooler than a 20,000 pound cake. Oh, 20,000 pound cake, sorry. No, I want the cake, please. 
So let's try strawberry. Yeah, just like the other one, it's very iridescent. It's very Pretty shiny. color. Mm. Oh, candy. How does it taste? Like overly sweet, like the mango? Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. They're like slightly better than the strawberry hard candies that like look like a strawberry. Again, that you find loose in like your grandma's bag. I don't like these at all. Mm -hmm. They don't even really taste like strawberry. Yeah, no. No, like very like fake strawberry fake. taste. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Yeah, kind of a bummer. Not cool. for me. Yeah. Next up is the another fudgy bar. Uh, this one is the Fudgy Bar Salted Caramel Chocolate Cake with Salted Caramel Filling. Oh, we'll see this time snap. if there's actual filling in it. Yeah, the right. The last one didn't have that. Their hills may not be made of chocolate, but don't go thinking that there's any shortage of cacao in the Philippines. The tropical southern region of Davao makes sure of that. Back in 1670, it was the first Asian region to grow cacao using Mexican seeds from Spain. Hmm. Today, 50,000 acres of Davao's farmland produce 80% of the country's cacao, over a quarter billion pounds per year. With this salted caramel filled cake, you'll taste Davao's delicacy and find no shortage of decadent de cacao flavor. Interesting. Ooh, it's very dark. Right? Oh, it smells like chocolate. Like dark chocolate almost, yeah. though. It smells good. But will it have. Will it blend? That is the question. Cream in the middle. Nope. No! What, what the is heck? up with this? This is crazy. That's crazy. And if you look like, I already kind of ripped it, but it's supposed to have like no, salted caramel in there. Yeah. Crazy. Mm. I found a little tiny bit. I have a tiny bit in mine too, like on the end. Maybe it just doesn't go through the middle. Nah, I don't like it. Well, it's not bad. They're just like snack cakes. Just taste like bad hostess ones. Like, like a dry, like, what's the ones that are like the cupcakes that everyone gets? Hostess, yeah. Hostess. Yeah, but like what's- Oh, Little oh, Debbie's? No. The, like, the little cupcake with the white swirl on it. I literally called cupcake. Oh, I thought it had a name. That's like what it tastes like, but yeah. that. I mean, I haven't had one of those in like years, no but I don't like it. Mm. Which is unfortunate because it sounded so good. Yeah, Salted good. caramel, darn it. So the next couple ones I'm really excited for because they just sound good. These are gonna be egg bites, crispy egg cookies. In the Philippines, these egg white pas pasancia? Yeah, yeah. Pasi Pasi cookies are a must-have for any Christmas celebration. Yes, we realize it's only May, but we're not as early as you think. Filipinos celebrate the world's longest Christmas season beginning in late August and ending in mid-January. Disney does that too. And honestly, we can't really blame them for extending the festivities. Good. We're all for getting merry in May, but if it means more of these sweet if, wait, I'm sorry. We're all for getting merry in May if it means more of these sweet, crispy cookies. And the good thing is, these are very small. Oh, yay. Which is perfect because we had dinner right before this and I'm getting, getting full. very, very full. They look like good. little like um, vanilla wafers. Yeah. Mmm. Wow. Those are extremely good. Those are so good. Not too mm. sweet, a little vanilla, we do taste a little bit of the egg. A little bit of egg, but like super crispy and they're so small. Mmm, those are good. Mm. Big thumbs up on those. And look how cute, like the packaging is. I know. It's it just so cute. cute. Mm. Good stuff. Alright, I can have 30 of these for 130 calories. Not bad. Mmm. I like that one a lot. Next one, I'm a little worried about. I'm Kelly very excited very for this excited one too. These are baked cheesy puffs, sweet butter, and cheese. Butter and cheese flavored corn puffs. I don't know about this. I don't know. Sweet butter and cheese isn't a combo you see every day, unless you live in the Philippines. Well, that's probably why we're eating. <laughs> then you see it twice a day. Between meals, Filipinos enjoy two designated snack times called 
Mary Ann does. I want that. And sweet butter and cheese is the go-to flavor for the occasion, whether in the form of ensaymada, brioche with butter and grated cheese, that sounds good, Ooh. mamon, cheese topped butter cake, or buttery yeah. cheese puffs like these. Yeah. Make a true merienda by eating these at 11 a.m. or 3 p.m. or both. What about 8 p.m.? <laughs> that is when we are finding this. I just love a good cheese puff. The last one that we had in um, Scandinavia, I really like those cheese puffs, but you didn't. So we'll... I'm gonna let you just try You'll it. You'll see. You don't yeah. want any of them. I don't know really, I don't really think you do. They smell like they smell artificial like the other ones. cheese. Oh my god. Oh. I'm really glad I didn't eat that. Oh my god, they're sour tasting. Oh, yeah, right. Do you want, like, wash no. them out with cocoa water? You have to, like, lick this. I really, I, I'm sorry, I, please. It's the weirdest taste ever. You have to do it. I, please, I really don't want to. I really, really don't want to. Just, you have to do it. It is so weird. You can spit it out. Just do it. Oh, it is. Isn't that weird? Oh, that, I just licked it a little bit. That's really bad. It's like... Oh, that's vile. Oh, that's joining the uh... Need another egg bite. I was joining the sausage chips. What does that even taste like to you, though? It's bad. It's, it tastes like sour, bad cheese. Like Why are they sour? Cheese. I don't know, and I hate it. Okay, so hopefully these last two are better than that one, because that was nasty. Oh, bad. The next one we have are soft cookies with mango bits. Now this is a cool occasion. The Philippines annual springtime mango harvest festival called Ooh boy. Dynamulang? Dinamulang? Mulag? Dinamulag. Dudamulag. Dudamulag? That doesn't sound right. Dinamulag. Dinamulag. It's it's close enough. Participants in the festivities wear vibrant costumes, dance in the street, have parades, pageants, sand sculpting, cook-offs, mango eating contests, and fireworks. What can we say? We probably all wish we could be there. These chewy sugar cookies complete with real mouth-watering mango or as close as we'll get this year. It's like they knew. I've actually got like a big box of these, yeah, which is box. crazy. It's like a full-size box. Oh, they're individually packaged. That's what Oh, it's that's for. nice. There's a lot in here. Great. Well, at least they're individual. Alright. Mine says pineapple. Oh yeah, mine does too. Oh no, also mango. Okay. Pineapple is it mango. pineapple too? I don't know, it didn't say that. Oh. It literally just says mango. Oh. Oh, yours already broke. Oh, they're kind of soft. Yes, they're soft cookies with mango. Oh. <laughs> this is literally a description. They smell very mango -y. Wow. Mm. Like fresh mango. I love mango. They smell good. Those are, wow. those are delightful. This is really nice. The mango is like super fresh. Mm -hmm. Really, really light, but like fruity. The cookie is like super soft, almost like doughy, almost like a cookie yeah. dough. But like good, not overly sweet. Mm. I really like these. That's good stuff. Mm -hmm. the last one is another Choco Mucho. And that is the chocolate wafer roll with caramel, crisp rice, and dark chocolate. In the Philippines, there's a local saying, rice is life. It's not just talk, Filipinos eat rice for every occasion. Breakfast, time for garlicky rice. Sinagag, or chocolatey rice porridge. Champorado. Lunch or dinner? Adobo comes atop a fluffy bed of rice. Thirsty? Uh, sip tapui, a local rice wine. Dessert? Pick your favorite rice cake. Cheesy bibing babinka, brown rice, kutsinta, or steamed puto. Puto, puto. As for your candy craving, we've got you covered with this caramel dark chocolate wafer sprinkled with crispy rice. I swear, they just like sprinkle in all these words that they know that I can't pronounce just to make them seem stupid. All right. So let's try Choco Mucho. That was like poop. Looks 
looks like Caddyshack. <laughs> Ooh, I know this one has something in it. It does. It's, it's like caramel. Gooey caramel. You can there. have that piece. Try right. it. Bad. I think I like this one a little bit better than the white chocolate one. I agree. Because it's a little more flavorful. A little more chocolatey. Yeah. But not still not necessarily my favorite. I don't know if I just maybe I just don't like the rice in it. It's like maybe. Man, I wonder if the rain eerie. is picking up. Oh yeah, can you hear the rain outside? It is. We haven't had a lot of rain recently, which is insane for Orlando. Ford in general, but especially yeah. Orlando. And it is a torrential downpour mm -hmm. outside. It was like thundering and lightning. Which I'm and like... super excited for. Mm -hmm. Very glad it's happening. Um, yeah, that, yeah, that's okay. That's pretty good. Yeah. Not bad. Well, those are all of our dishes, yeah. snacks, and otherwise from the Philippines. Um, you want to do the ratings and grading? Yes. So now we get to rate. Favorite, worst, and weirdest. What is your favorite? Um, the egg bite cookies. I agree. Those were amazing. These are so yummy. So, mm -hmm. so good. Worst. Was those butter cheese. Yeah, that was flavors. awful. That was like offensively bad. Yeah, I've never tasted horrible. anything like that. The flavor of that was just gross. Um, what would be the weirdest? I feel like that one would be the same one. Yeah. Maybe the barbecue. Yeah, because it like really tasted like, so, like sausage. the sausage, which was weird. Very strange. And, like those were like really that. meaty chips, yeah. which is very strange. Yeah. Yeah. Gross. That or maybe the um, adobo like corn snacks, because I wasn't really expecting that flavor from it. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. This box in general was a little bit underwhelming compared yeah. to Scandinavia. I think so. And um, maybe it's because Scandinavia is like a little more unique. Uh, I would say this is more unique. Really? 100%. All the, all the Scandinavian flavors were very, I wouldn't say safe, but they were very like, you know, things that we're used to. These are very much flavors we're not used to. And I guess so. I feel like that would be the, not the issue, but yeah. the, the difference between the two. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there wasn't really anything in this box that wowed me, mm -hmm. like the egg bite. Besides the egg bite cookies, on the mango ones were good. So like the cookies are good, the candy was okay, but the actual snacks. I don't understand how they eat the butter cheese twice a day. Horrible. That was awful. Oh wow. God. Just wow. Well, so, yeah. where are we potentially going next month? We are. I don't really know where it is. On the back. Oh, it is. Okay. Okay. Right. I think this one's pretty obvious. Clue, this is your clue to next month's box. Our next stop is home to tales we've adored about wizards, detectives, and a knight and his sword. But when it comes to the yums, we have a prediction. You'll love the toffees and crisps just as much as the fiction. It's the UK. Yay! It's gotta be the UK, right? They've also been selling the UK box for a while. Yeah, I think if you signed up for it, you could like, choose between the UK or a mystery box. Yeah, or like whatever that month's box Whatever that is. month is. So, um, I'm excited for the UK. I love a good crisp. Yeah. I love a good toffee. I think they'll have a lot of good like snack. Oh yeah, for sure. Like popular snack options. I think we will do it again. I think it might be our last one though. Yeah. Because things are slowly starting to open up. Things are- Yeah. They're not back to normal. I don't think they'll be back to normal in another month. Well, define normal. Well, the new normal. Yeah. But it's getting there. Um, but this has been kind of a fun little distraction while we're yeah. stuck at home. Yeah, it of, really hasn't. I'm glad we got to try a lot of things Absolutely. that we wouldn't have normally ever been able yeah. to try. Yeah, and um, shout out again to our friends at The Flap. Yes, thank For you. showing us Universal Homes. Mm -hmm. And don't forget, uh, in the description, we will have not ours actually, but their discount code, their referral code. So if you do sign up, please use it. You will get $5 off your first box and they get $5 off their next one. Yeah. Well, that wraps up for this month's Universal Yums in the Philippines. If you liked our video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. In the comments down below, let us know what you would eat of what we tried and what you definitely wouldn't eat. 
Uh, if you want to see more of our adventures, make sure to subscribe, click the bell icon to get notified every time we go live with new videos. And as always, we will see you next time for more Young at the Parks.